Okay, welcome back to Mr. Quick's flipped class. Today we're going to continue talking about long division. Now, I have a problem set up on the board for you. It's 869 divided by 5. Well, if I hit it big in the lottery, and I went in on a ticket with four other friends, so there's five of us, and we won $869, we'd want to split that money up evenly, right? It's not enough to retire, unfortunately. But we would want to split it up so we could all buy a burger or something, okay? So, 869 divided by 5. Am I going to give it $1 to one friend, $1 to my next friend, $1 to friend number 3, $1 to friend number 4, keep a dollar, and keep going that way? No, that would be long, tedious, boring, it would take forever. We're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to use long division. And in this case, I have a three-digit number divided by 5, because there's five of us, okay? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start out with the standard algorithm. Okay? This is just the normal way probably your parents have done division. This is how I learned division when I was your age, back in the Stone Age. All right? We're going to show you some different ways to do it, and you're going to pick which one is most comfortable, kind of like with multiplication. We did lattice. We did the standard algorithm. Same thing here. Today, we're going to work with the standard algorithm. First things first. I'm going to see if 5 goes into 8. Well, if I have 5 friends and I've got 8 Butterfingers, can I give a Butterfinger to each friend? Of course I can. In fact, I'll have some left over. So. 5 does go into 8. If I skip count, 5, 10. Well, 10 is too big. 10 is higher than 8. So just 5. It goes in one time. All right? I'm putting the 1 up here. That's part of the answer. It's part of the quotient. 1 times 5 is 5. I'm going to subtract. 8 minus 5 is 3. And then I'm going to bring down just the next number over, which is 6. Does 5 go into 36? Well, of course it does, okay? And we know our uh, fact families, we know our multiplication facts, we know that 5 times 7 is 35, and that's as close as we can get with 5s to 36. Even if you didn't know that, you could still skip count, right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I'm at 7, I got 7 fingers up, 7 times 5 is 35, I'm going to put my 7 up top, 7 times 5, 35. I'm going to subtract once again. I have uh, 6 minus 5 is 1, 3 minus 3, nothing, 0, and same thing, I'm going to bring down that 9, we haven't forgot about you. So I've got 19. Does 5 go into 19? Well, once again, of course it does, right? If we skip count, we say 5, 10, 15, which is 3, our next one would be 20, which is too high, so we're going to stick with 3. 5 times 3, which we'll put up here. 3 times 5 is 15, all right? 19 minus 15 is 4. 5 doesn't go into 4. I've got nothing left to bring down. What happens to that 4? All right, it's a remainder. So if I had $869, I'm going to divide it up among five people. Each of us would get $173, and then we'd have $4 left, and we'd probably just arm wrestle over it. And I would win? <laughs> Alright, let's do another one. 795 divided by 4. What I'd like you to do right now, get out just a piece of scratch paper, maybe your mom dad can come help you, parent, guardian, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, your buddy, your dog, probably not your dog. Alright, work on this, pause the video, I'm not going to stop, so just pause the video, work on the problem, come back and we'll check it. Okay, we're back. You've now unpaused the video. You have your answer. Let's check it together. 795 divided by 4. Does 4 go into 7? It sure does. One time. 1 times 4 is 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. And I'm going to bring down my 9. So I've got, how many times does 4 go into 39? I know it does, because I know my math facts. 9 times 4 is 36. 10 times 4 is 40. That's too high, so I'm going to go with 9. Okay. Put my 9 up top, it's part of my quotient, it's part of my answer. 9 times 4 is 36. 39 minus 36 is 3. And then I can't forget about my buddy the 5 here, so I'm going to bring it all the way down. It's going to take the elevator all the way down. So I've got how many times is 4 going to 35? Well, let's say I'm not real strong with my math facts or my multiplication facts. You can still skip count 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, I'm at 8. 8 times 4 is 32. If I go one more to 9, that's 36. It's too high. So I'm going to stick with 8. I'm going to put it up top. 8 times 4 is 32. 35 minus 32 is 3. 4 doesn't go into 3, right? If I have 3 cup holders, I can't put 4 drinks in 3 cup holders. So I'm going to pop it right up top here. 
it is our remainder. What I would like for you to do and bring to your next class period is create two of your own long division problems, answer them, solve them, and we might throw them up on the board and, and work on them as a class together. Okay? Have that ready. Have any questions you might have ready. Anything you didn't miss or if you said, oh, Mr. Quick went pretty quick. Right? Anything you may have missed, go back, rewind the video, watch it again. I'll see you tomorrow.